This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba Satellite L855 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite L855 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to make it safe to work on, and that means removing all sources of power, and that means removing the battery. So in order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over, the battery is facing us, and what we do, there's two levers. One unlocks the battery on the right, and the, one, the other one releases the battery. We slide the one on the left outward, like we did the one on the right, and lift up the battery, like so, and the battery's out, and now the laptop is safe to work on. While we're still on the bottom of the laptop, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop. And there's a label on the bottom that says Toshiba, and right below it says Satellite L855-S5240. So we just need the Satellite L855. That's all the information we need. Okay, usually for new lap, newer laptops, there's a label on the palm rest that I'll show you the model number, but this one's missing that label. Okay, in order to get to the screen assembly, we have to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we have to remove four screws, two at the top and two at the bottom and they're hiding behind some plastic covers. So before we get started on this step, I will show you the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. We also have a PH00 electronics screwdriver for smaller screws. A two millimeter flathead screwdriver and that's for uh, prying things open. A exacto knife or a hobby knife with a pointed blade test to remove screw covers. And also a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate wires or remove any screws that may be stuck. So let's get started. The first step is to remove the plastic screw covers so we can get to the screws. There's two at the top and you remove them with a hobby knife. And what I like to do is put them right next to the screw opening. And same with this one. Now there's also two screw covers on the bottom here and here. Uh, they're missing for this laptop, but they're usually there. So just pretend that they're there. Okay, next step is to remove the four screws that are securing the screen bezel to the screen assembly. And we do that one by one. And what I like to do for each set of screws is keep them in a separate pile in the order in which they're removed. So when I'm putting everything together, I know which screws go where. So this is one pile right here and we put it together. Okay, next step, probably the most difficult step in the whole procedure is to snap off the screen bezel, remove the screen bezel. And what I like to do for this step is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently lift up and out and listen for snapping sounds. If you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. That means the bezel is coming off. And you work your way around the screen. If you get stuck at a certain place, just keep going and come back to that place later on. And we do the same thing for the bottom, like so and we lift the screen bezel out and it's removed. Okay, next step is to remove the screen itself from the metal mounting brackets on the side. The screen is secured on the sides to some metal mounting brackets and we have to get to the screws on the side and you can see we can lift the screen a little bit out so it's pretty easy to get to the top screw but not as easy to get to the bottom screw. So for this we have a trick. We use our PH1 screwdriver to loosen 
two screws at the bottom. There's one and two. They're holding the mounting brackets and the hinge assembly to the back of the screen assembly. So we loosen it maybe one or two turns, just enough so we can get to the side screw. And we're almost there, so we're going to loosen it a little bit more just enough so we can get to it and don't forget to tighten it when you're putting the laptop back together. Okay, so we loosen it just enough so we can reach the screw on the sides. There's two screws on each side that we have to remove to release the screen from the screen assembly. So let's start one by one. And this screw is out, but it doesn't want to come out. So in this case, we use our metal tweezers to remove this screw, and it's out. So we start a new pile once again, two, and when you remove the last screw, make sure the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit because the screen is going to fall back like this. We turn the laptop around and do the same thing on the other side. One. Two. And three. And now the screen is loose from the screen assembly. Okay, next thing we want to do is gently tilt the screen forward, make sure nothing is holding it back, and put it down like this. And we see that this screen has only one connector on the back, and we have to remove this connector, and the screen will be out. So the connector is secured by some adhesive tape, and we can either use our X-Acto knife or our fingernails to lift up the adhesive tape from the back, like so. And usually the cable that the connector is attached to is attached to the back of the screen with some adhesive. So we lift that up also. And once we do that, we gently pull the connector out, like so and it's out. Uh, before we go any further, I will show you how to reconnect this connector because sometimes it's a source of trouble. So when you slide the connector back in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks when it's fully engaged. And let's take a close-up look at what it's supposed to look like. Let's see if we can get a good focus. Okay, that's as good as we're gonna get. So pause the video right there. The, can, the, there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connectors, connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other, and this is what a good connection looks like. Okay, this is a better shot right here. This is a, what a good connection looks like. All right, let's keep moving. So we pull the connector out once more. And we take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen and as of late 2012 it's the most common screen for laptops so there should be no trouble finding it. And let's look at the part number that we're looking for. The part number is LTN156AT24. LTN156AT24 and that's the part number that you're looking for. Okay, you can also order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is we ship this exact toolkit for free with the screen. It comes for free with the screen. You have a two-year warranty on the screen itself. We also provide free email technical support, so if you get stuck in any step along the way, send us an email and we'll walk you through it. And uh, we have fast shipping. We ship from warehouses both on the East Coast and the West Coast, so you'll get your screen in two or three days or less when you do ground shipping. And also, if you live outside of the United States, we can most likely ship to your country. 
Okay, to order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, which will direct you to the right screen or will direct you to our email and we'll send you email with the link to the right screen. Okay, once you do receive the screen, connect it as I showed you. Mount the screen on the metal mounting brackets. Tighten the two screens, I mean the two screws on the bottom. Then snap the screen bezel back on. Put the two screws, screws in on top and two on the bottom and put the screw covers in and you should be done. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.